Hey guys, what's up? Carlson SK here, and welcome back to episode 11 of the Iron Man Completionist series. This episode, without a doubt, is the biggest we've had thus far in this series, and soon you'll see why. Now, to continue where we left off in the last episode, we are going to start our 8300 grind. And during this grind, one of the most unexpected things happen. But following that situation in 8300, we're going to work on 70 Herbore and push for that quest cape. So let's begin. Let's go ahead and get started on 83 Hunter with a birdhouse run and then we're going to be doing spotted kevits all the way until 60. Just for the hell of it, there is 75 farming. I don't know why I decided to get this now, but uh, there it is. We can now grow magic trees. And there is 53 Hunter as well, allowing us to catch great chinchampas, which are sadly useless. Look at that, we already got a Hunter level. Look how easy this is. I am going to try my absolute best to do birdhouse runs every hour because uh, that is going to boost our Hunter XP rates tremendously. Not too big of a level, but with this we are now able to catch Dark Kebets, which will speed up our progress to level 60. Another nice level coming in, there is 59 Hunter. With this level, we can now make you birdhouse traps, which is really nice because now I can save all the mahogany logs I get for construction instead of using them on birdhouse runs. And that, right there, is the last kebet I will ever have to catch on this account because now we are going to start catching red salamanders. Because we are officially level 60 Hunter and can now place four traps, this makes red salamanders really good to do. Also, there is a hard Arduin task completed. Through Red Salamanders, we can get anywhere from 80 to 100 KXP per hour if you pay decent attention, which isn't much considering these guys are pretty AFK. Which is really nice, meaning we will only be here for a few hours because once we get 67 Hunter, we are going to be moving on to hunt the Wilderness Brothers. And I just now realized I'm not even on the right spot to do this. I'm supposed to be up here. There we go. We can take advantage of all four traps now. Sixty-five Hunter has been obtained. We can now officially catch Magpie and Blinks. Only two more levels to go until we move on to the back Salamanders. And there we have it. There is sixty-seven Hunter. Go ahead, Bank. Get ready to be in the wilderness for quite a while because we will have to catch enough back Salamanders to get sixty-seven to eighty Hunter. I'm gonna go ahead and stop calling them back Salamanders now. Ooh, a hard wilderness task. So what makes black Salamanders so nice compared to red Salamanders is because we are in the wilderness, we can now place an extra trap. At red Salamanders, I was getting anywhere from 73,000 to 80k XP per hour. At Black Salamanders, we can expect to make anywhere from 120,000 to 150k XP per hour. So we are pretty much doubling our XP rates. Though, even with that said, you guys should probably get used to this area and seeing this, because we are going to be here for a little over 10 hours in order to get our AD Hunter. Yay, so much fun. Here we go, our first level from Black Salamanders coming in already. There is 68 Hunter. With that, we have the ability to catch modeled eels on the Mulch Island. Along with that, we are officially 1700 total level on the account as well. No way you are real. Wow. The time has come for another funny number level. There is 69 Hunter obtained. Level does not give us anything big other than access to dashing cabots, which uh, I already made a vow to never do again. But yeah, funny number level hunting. Laugh. I said laugh. Do it now. Got ourselves a milestone level. There is 70 Hunter. This level gives us access to nothing. And I am not joking when I say that. It gives us access to literally nothing for some reason. But it is still required for Song of the Elves, which is uh, pretty weird. But yeah, there it is knocked out. There is 75 Hunter. Another nice milestone to get, but for some reason this level, like level 70, does not give me anything other than bats for raids, which, who catches bats in raids? It is finally going to happen after 13 hours and having caught over 4,500 black salamanders, we have obtained 80 Hunter. In my opinion, this is by far the biggest Hunter level you can possibly get on an Iron Man account. 
With this, we can now place five traps, which is obviously a really nice quality of life. It's the most traps you can place in the game. We now have access to Herbivore, which is really helpful for getting Herblor XP while training Hunter at the same time, especially on Iron Men. We can now catch Crystal Implings, allowing us to finally get the Dragonstone Amulet we need to make our Amulet of Glory. We are not done with Hunter yet though, we still need to get three more levels for 83 so we can catch Dragon Implings whenever we see them, and I will be doing this at Herbivore. So right now we have 68 Herbivore banked, and we do need 70 in order to do Song of the Elves. So hopefully from 80 to 83 Hunter we have enough Herbs and Herb XP from Herbivore to get this level. Just logged on, it's currently 536 in the morning on December 2nd, and they've already got Snow Terrain. Merry 23 days early Christmas. There is 50 herbivore harvest count. And there is our first herbivore trip completed. Managed to get a little over 3k herbivore XP and 110,000 hunter XP. This is not accurate because I did do 10kc uh, last night before I actually went to bed. Barely got any fossils though. We only got one small fossil. I was hoping for a little bit more. The herbs we got were as seen here. Pretty nice to be honest. 218k. Not bad. Just want to see all these herbs get put in the bank. Let's see this herb tab and ah, so beautiful. All right, let's get back to it. Ah, funny harvest count. Wow, kind of got played. There is a hundred harvest count, and all we have left is 39 hunter XP. Regardless, there is 81 hunter, and our second herbivore trip done it was a lot better than the first. We got a lot more fossils. Here we go. 82 hunter. We are nearly done now. There's 250 herbivore harvest count. Um. Um, uh, there's no fucking way. 302 harvest count. <laughs> my heart is out of my chest. It is banging. I am so tired right now. And when I tell you that literally just shocked me awake, I, I, I mean it. Oh my God. I don't have to grind 6,500 harvest count for this. Oh, I... I'm actually so happy. On the way to 99 Hunter, I wanted to get at least one of the two pets because there's the Chinchampa pet and Herbie pet. I didn't want to have to farm Hunter out for one of them. I'm I'm so happy. Chances are with the Chin pet, I'm not going to get lucky like this. I'll probably have to get post 99 XP for the Chin pet. But look at that. That puts us at three total pets now. This guy even just came over. Oh, no, nah, I feel bad. Uh, whatever. Let's let's go ahead and finish off this level. We uh, we're we're pretty close now. Yeah, by the way, from a math standpoint, that was a little over a 4.8, 4.9 percent drop chance. 325 KC is exactly 5 percent drop chance. So yeah, I got dumb lucky. Oh, okay. Well, there's 67 herbivore. Did not expect that to happen. Here we go. After many hours of doing hunter, we have finally got 83 hunter, meaning we can now catch. A dragon impling. Giving us a total of 325 harvest count for herbivore, the herbivore pet, which I still can't believe I got, and all these herbs that you see here. We also got a lot of fossils. Overall, the 83 hunter grind was not that bad. If you're an Iron Man, I definitely recommend doing it. I absolutely despise hunter, and I didn't really mind doing this grind. It took roughly 20 hours, and from it, we can now catch every imp in the game, minus the lucky imp, and we managed to get a pet as well. I'm actually done with herbivore. I never have to go back. Almost forgot to show you guys the fossils I managed to get. We didn't get that many. I thought I got a lot more, honestly, but still a pretty nice amount. And on top of that, I'm going to show you guys the herb tab just because I can. I already showed you loot tracker, but we all know the herb tab looks nicer. Let's go insure this pet real quick. And there we go. We now own Herbie forever. Can never lose him. And that puts us at three pet unlocks total that are secured on the account. Four if you include the extremely rare rock pet. Alright, well, now that we have the Hunter Grind knocked out, uh, it's time to work on 70 Herbore so we can move on with Soap. And before I do that, I actually want to increase the bank size. They just had a new update a little while ago. I'm going to go ahead and just add another 40 slots for a mill. It's not a lot, but it's a decent amount. I'm happy with that. It is also permanently unlocked for the account, so I don't really see a reason as to why I wouldn't put some money into it. But let's go ahead and clean on these herbs. Alright, so Runelet says we have 70 Herbore banked, but I do not have the ability to make all these potions. For example, I am not going to go collect 254 Ashes or 407 Limbwords. So I will make all the potions that I can, and then however much XP we have left, I'll probably just do some Diaries and Lamp it. 68 Herbore. 69 Herbore. Nice. Funny. We can now make Anti-Dragon Fires, which is actually really good, because we need this for Dragon Slayer 2. 
Actually, just because I can, I am going to go ahead and collect 28 blue dragon scales so I can make 28 anti fires for when we get around to doing Dragon Slayer 2. Look at those XP drops 150 XP each. And they last six minutes. I thought they lasted three. All right, let's go ahead and do these diaries now. I'm going to start with the desert diary because it's pretty easy to do. It only take me a few minutes. There we go. The hard diary for the desert has been completed. Let's actually claim the XP. You know the reason why we actually did the diary. 15k, not bad. While we're here, I'm going to go place those two ropes real quick. There's that. There is that as well. All right, let's get out of here. All right, next up, we're going to be doing the Varrock Hard Diaries, which is going to take a little bit longer, but it should be pretty easy too. We are going to have to farm out a Skull Scepter, which is going to suck. Can this tree please get chopped down? I be Please, I beg. There's no way. I actually have to do a banking trip. Thank you. Jesus, that took so long. So as it turns out, I still need 10 more kudos before I can do the Varrock Diaries, so I'm going to go ahead and clean a few of these fossils and then make some displays. All right, well, this sucks. We are currently two kudos short of 153. Each one of these displays are worth two kudos, and we don't have enough fossils to finish another display. So we are going to have to farm either two mediums, one plant, because I'm pretty close to finishing that one, or three smalls. We do have these lamps, though, which I'm going to put all on herbore, which is pretty nice. We may not even have to do another dire if you wanted to. About the two medium fossils, we need to make another display, and we also managed to get two solia sub caps, which are uh, pretty cool. Use these for boosting in the future. Yeah, we also got this medium clue, which I'll probably do here pretty shortly. And there we go, exactly 153 kudos. We can now continue with this diary. Oh yeah, we can also get this XP lamp, 3500. Ah, uh, 289 XP left after this diary. We are already on the final task for the Varrock Hard Diaries, which is to teleport to the Barbarian Village using a Skull Scepter. So we will let the farm one out, but first I am going to do this medium clue. There's our medium casket, giving us nothing. Nothing good, at least. All right, let's go spend like an hour and a half getting a skull scepter. And there is one piece down already. Took us 47 kills, which was like a minute and a half. That was quick. That took like how many kills? 13. I'm going to do a few more kills, though, so we can get some more herbs to get this XP. Aha, uh -huh, that's funny, Jagex. Thank you very much. Good joke, good joke. Nice. We keep getting lucky with these. That's like seven case here or something. Six. And that hour and a half I was talking about turned out to be... Uh, roughly 20 minutes. I don't know the KC that we got that on, but it was it was less than 20. And there we go. The hard Varrock diaries have been completed. Let's go claim our chest plate. There we go. Got that Varrock armor 3. This gives us the ability to mine up to two ores at once up to adamant. We can use this as a replacement for a chef's hat. To get into the cook's guild, we obviously get the lamp as well. We can now get 60 battle stabs opposed to 30 for a 7,000 coins each over here at Zap, which is really nice for when I decide to get into miscellanea. And then this holds up to 22 charges, which I, I don't really care. I'll probably end up just banking this and forgetting it exists. And now if we use this lamp, there is 70 herbore. Feels so nice to get. We now clean dwarf weeds, and we can make the stronghold bar potions in raids, as well as divine potions, which we need to do soap first for. The time has finally come for us to do Song of the Elves. I am actually so excited for this. Obviously, we got all the requirements needed to do the quest, and I have all the items in the bank needed to complete it. So let's go ahead, talk to Edmund, get this started, and let's do this Grandmaster quest that is arguably the hardest in the game. Boy, a light puzzle. I'm so happy. No way. <laughs> First try, and I did it, and I ran out of all my supplies. And there we have it, Song of the Elves has been completed. Managed to do that in a little over three hours and 30 minutes. I don't even want to close out of this. I just want to sit here and stare at this for a minute. All right, well, as I said, there's Song of the Elves completed. We get all this XP. We have access to Perfidanus, finally. I can set my spawn point here, which I am going to do. We can now do the Gauntlet if I want to. We can do Zolcano. There's so much we have access to now. On top of that, this is the hardest quest in the game, so I'm almost beyond positive. We can do Dragon Slayer 2 and Monkey Madness 2. Pretty much effortlessly. Oh, and there's our first crystal imp already. Let me go get the net. I also nearly forgot to do this. Yay! Hey, congratulations, you've completed Song of the Elves quest. You okay, thanks, bye. Bye. The biggest reasons why we did this quest was for this reason right here. Are we going to get the ambulance? No, we got dragon bones, but as pre prayer XP. Alright, I'm going to hunt crystal imps for a bit until I get a dragon stone amulet. I have no idea how long this is going to take, but I don't have any scouts to help me, so this is a one-man job. It's probably going to take a few hours. Wrong amulets. Yes, there it is. After nine crystal implings, we managed to get the Dragonstone amulet. 
Now we just gotta go back to the standard spellbook and enchant it. And there we go, we finally have an amulet of glory. Holy crap, that took so long to get. Went ahead and charged the glory as well, so we can now teleport with it if we need to. It is about time that we retire the amulet of power, the one that we've been running basically since the beginning of the account. That feels really nice to do. Now that I finally have the glory on the account, I am going to go ahead and do a gauntlet KC just for fun. See if I can maybe even do a corrupt gauntlet. Doubt it with my current stats, but I'm still going to try. And then we're going to go for quest cape because I'm pretty confident that I can do these quests now. Once we do manage to get quest cape knocked out, we are going to be continuing that slayer grind from before all the way until 85 and to be honest, we'll probably even go to 87 just so we can get the trident. Went ahead and over prepped just a little bit just in case. It's been a while since I've done the corrupt gauntlet, let alone the normal gauntlet. So I am a little bit rusty and our stats are not that great. So 81 hit points. <laughs> that was a little bit unexpected. Well, that was pretty easy. Pretty happy with that kill time. Sub 10 minute and the reward was surprisingly good. We got some elks. Okay, I did one more kill just for fun because I'm about to go to the gym and got the elite combat task 3 two, one range. The next quest we are going to do is Dragon Slayer 2 because it is the hardest quest of the ones here. The funniest part is I'm not even worried about killing Vorkath or Galvec. It's mainly the Rune and Adamant Dragon. Last time I did this quest, I died to them like three times. Alright, let's get it started. We're at the point in the quest where I guess we kill Vorkath already, so uh, good luck to me. First attempt was a flop. Got the Vorkath down to 200 health and then I ran out of food, so I had to tell you out. I need to bring more anti-poisons, so I'm bringing three this time. Hopefully this is enough. Much better attempt that time. I think it was just the difference of me protecting range over magic. Why did they do my homie Bob like that? Come on. Easily the saddest thing that ever happened in RuneScape is this right here. Dragon Slayer 2 has been completed. We are officially a myth and have access to the Myths Guild. Also got 71 smithing. Go ahead and enter here real quick. That feels really nice to do. There is a person over here that we can talk to to claim some XP. Pretty sure it is Ellen. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to put one of these in defense and I'm going to put the rest into attack. That is going to put us at 71 defense and 75 attack. Meaning we can now wear god swords and a bunch of other nice things. Okay, that means we can actually kill Skatizo if I wanted to because I have access to the arc light now. So we now have access to Vorkath, we have access to Wrath Runes, we have access to the Sungeon here, which is really nice as well. And then obviously everything inside the Myths Guild, which uh, is pretty good. I'm happy about this because now I can use the Glory Teleports and have a quick way to recharge it. I can also kill Dragons for Prayer XP now in a safe place, like Green Dragons are down here instead of in the Wilderness, so I can wear all of my good gear to kill them. got access to this cool dog we can pet now. I'm going to go ahead and buy a good, good amount of these capes, probably 10 to be honest. Nice escape to have for Crush, and it's also a really nice teleport because it teleports us right here. And just because I can right now, because we have a lot of money, I know I need this for the hard Arduin Diaries. So we're going to go ahead and buy a shield right half. This also means once I get a higher range level and I'm able to do Vorkath efficiently with decent gear, I can get the Avas a assembler, which requires me to get pretty much 50 KC at Vorkath, which is a little bit down the road. I guess now it's time for us to do Monkey Madness 2 and finish off all the Grandmaster quests that RuneScape has to offer. Well, apparently killing a Demonic Gorilla during Monkey Madness 2 is an elite combat task. Ain't no way. Does that count? Does, does that count? So, it didn't count for some reason, which is actually insane to me. But, um, this trip's looking a lot better. I don't know if you can tell, but the inventory difference is insane. Thank God. That was the most annoying of the three quests that I've done so far. And there is Monkey Madness 2 completed, giving us all this XP and completing all of the Grandmaster quests in the game. Well, we now officially have access to Demonic Gorillas, so when I actually want to go ahead and get Zenites, I'll unblock Black Demons so we can kill them. Other than that, we really get nothing big from this quest. We just get this Monkey Backpack, we get this cool Teleport, and uh, we get another 100,000 combat XP and a skill of our choice, which I'm going to go do now. Let's go ahead and talk to Duke real quick. We get this XP, which I'm going to be putting into attack again, because that's what I'm training to 80 as of right now. Damn, you've taken a long time to teach me these techniques. And then, like I said, attack again, putting us at 100k XP, which is nice. 
Oh, it's gonna take five hours again. All right, there we go. 76 attack. Only thing left for us to do now is a Royal Trouble and a Throne of Miscellanea, which are both really easy and quick quests. Just notice we only have 500 XP for 75 wood cutting, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get this just because I can. Yay, 75 wood cutting. We can now we can now chop magic trees. Wait, okay, that puts us at 1725 total. I didn't realize that was gonna happen. There is the Throne of Miscellanea completed, and lucky for us, the Start of Royal Trouble is right here as well. Let's start this quest. Well, that was scuffed. I uh, didn't bring a weapon with me, so I just killed the uh, the snake with a rune axe. Just made it in time to the bank to save myself from that poison, but we got the box that we need to finish this quest, so let's go turn it in and officially be done with all the quests in RuneScape. Also, while doing these quests, you run back and forth between these castles quite a bit, so I've been raking these patches to get 100% favor, and there is a hard Fremenic task completed for the diaries. And there we have it. Royal Trouble has been completed, like I said, awarding us with... All of the quests being done in the game. Probably could have worded that better. Let me, we, we got quest gate, that's basically it. Also with us having completed that quest, we now have an additional five notches to put into a field in the Kingdom of Miscellanea, which I put into Hardwoods for Teak because I want passive construction XP and then obviously I you know, maxed out herbs because who doesn't want herbs on an Iron Man? Enough talk, let's go ahead and get our quest gate. Why hello there Mr. Wise Old Man, can I get that quest gate please? 99k is not much to pay. And there we go. Look at us. It's so nice. We already know we got to do the emote. So the goal I've had set for quite a few episodes has finally been completed. Although this whole area is not green yet because I still have to do a few mini quests. They'll get done eventually when I have a bit of loose cash. Let's go ahead and use this amazing teleport and allow me to show you guys what I'm talking about. Look at this fairy ring distance. It's so close. What would make this even better is if I had the Elite Lumberage Diaries completed so I could just use fairy rings without the Draman staff. That would make doing Zora so easy. This is a future goal, however, because uh, I don't really see myself getting, what is it, 88 smithing and 76 runecrafting anytime soon? Well, now that we have Quest Cave, it's only rightful for us to celebrate. And for that, I want to go get a total of 25 Gauntlet KC because I have a really fun time there. So it's my way of celebrating. That 25 Gauntlet KC isn't at the way for the next episode, though, because I think we've already covered enough content in this one. Speaking of, though, what an eventful episode, am I right? I mean, for one, we managed to get 83 Hunter in our glory, and in the process, we managed to snag this guy somehow. We then managed to complete the three hardest quests in all of RuneScape, just to complete two more to get the quest cape, which completed the main goal that I've had set out for I don't even know how many episodes now. All I can say is I'm happy. Now for those of you that made it this far, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to look out for the future episodes and subscribe, comment, and like. Check me out on Switch and make sure to check out my Discord in the description below as well. But most importantly, I hope all of you guys have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.